Our top focus this hour, the United States has warned that Russian President Vladimir Putin could order an attack on Ukraine with days or weeks as Washington and its European allies continue efforts to de-escalate the situation. Russia maintains that while it is not planning on an invasion, it could take unspecified military action if its security demands are not met. Here's report. Satellite images published on Sunday showed military maneuvers at the Belarus border with Ukraine ahead of joint drills with Russia that NATO called the biggest deployment to Belarus since the Cold War. Two U.S. officials said over the weekend that Russia has in place about 70 percent of the combat power it believes it would need for a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Moscow has said it is not planning an invasion, but could take unspecified military action if its security demands are not met. Outside the White House on Sunday, President Joe Biden was asked about those demands, which include a promise that Ukraine never becomes a NATO member. I think things he cannot get. Earlier on Sunday, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Russia could invade Ukraine, quote, as soon as tomorrow or in some weeks, but could still opt for a diplomatic path. More U.S. troops arrived in Poland on Sunday after Biden ordered nearly 3,000 extra soldiers to reinforce NATO allies in Eastern Europe in case of spillover from the crisis. The deployment of elements of the 82nd Airborne Division are here to enhance the readiness, interoperability across all domains uh, with our Polish allies and, uh, if necessary, defend any portion of NATO. Washington has made clear it would not send U.S. troops to defend Ukraine, but it has provided arms to Kyiv. Western expats marched in the Ukrainian capital on Sunday, urging their governments to support Ukraine. I really, really hope that uh, everything can be sold in a peaceful way, because uh, what I think is clear from our side, nobody wants war. So I hope they can talk, find an agreement, mutual agreement, where everybody can live in peace. And our executive editor, Palki Sharma Padhyay, who is in Kiev, sends us this report on the situation on ground. Listen in. Is a war likely to happen? The answer to this question, I think, uh, is uh, with the, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. Uh, intelligence assessments from the U.S. and elsewhere say that uh, uh, Putin's forces are going to be ready for any eventuality. They're looking at multiple options, a full-scale invasion or a limited incursion. Either way, they want to be prepared. The U.S. intelligence believes that for a full-scale incursion uh, invasion, uh, the Russians need 150,000-odd troops, and they believe that 70 percent of that deployment is already complete. Uh, like I told you earlier, a very dire prediction coming from uh, the U.S., uh, the chairman of the U.S. Uh, uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, General Mike Milley, who said that uh, Kiev could fall within 72 hours and uh, uh, if, if there is an invasion and the civilian casualties, according to the American assessment, is anywhere between 25 to 50,000. And they've also predicted a high number of casualty figure for uh, Ukrainian troops in case of a full blown war. So that's what uh, uh, the Americans are predicting. Uh, the Russians, of course, keeping uh, their, uh, their cards close to their chest and not, uh, uh, not saying very much. Uh, apart from the fact that uh, what they've in insisted throughout, that they do not plan to invade, but their actions uh, do not inspire a lot of confidence. I'll give you one more example. There is a strategic exercise, uh, a nuclear uh, exercise that the Russians conduct every year in, in, in autumn. And this time that exercise, we believe, has been, March, uh, has been moved to uh, February, March. So the Americans are looking at this window, mid-February uh, to March, as uh, the time for a possible invasion. Uh, and uh, this has become a point of uh, controversy in Washington, D.C., because as the U.S. keeps uh, uh, dishing out what they call their intelligence assessment, they've not given any proof to substantiate how they arrive at those figures and those assessments. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.